What's up guys, it's your boy Just Fresh Hair and welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial guys I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit videos like Logan Paul, how to edit vlogs like Logan Paul because as you guys can see boom 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 a few people have been requesting that video so here it is I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I created this intro as well because he also adds the date on the time just like this one today is October the 2nd so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that right now in this video. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already. And I would say let's get started. Alright guys, as you guys can see right now, we are in Vegas. I have my headphones on because there's some audio that we're going to edit as well. So I would say let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make uh, the, we're going to recreate the, ex the entire intro that you guys have seen. So what we're going to do first is we're going to apply some color correction to it. So the first thing that I'm going to do guys is I'm going to click on this little icon that says effects and I'm going to just click on request glare with letterbox, click on OK. It was pretty says that you can uh, install externally so those do not come with Vegas I just wanted to mention that so as you can see this spices up the video quite a bit and it looks really cool so we're gonna start off by the first thing when I started the video uh, there was just you know the frame was like whoosh into the screen so we're gonna go ahead and go to the transitions tab obviously now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the slide option then we're gonna click on slide in drag it on there and I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller because the smaller it is the, fa the faster it will slide in we're gonna also add in a sound effect a whoosh sound effect you can download that from YouTube so I'm gonna drag that one in real quick and that's how I started the video so the next thing that we're gonna do and the also thing that uh, Logan Paul does in his videos he always shows uh, the date with you know uh, timed on the music and I already have a video about how to uh, make text appear on music and I'll play a little clip of it now boom and then what you can do is you can just click on this guy and then this box is popping up and you just want to make sure that you will check everything and then boom all the icons will appear it's gonna be really simple so that's a really quick tip before the tutorial starts so as you can see right now we are in a new Vegas project and I just dragged in a really quick simple uh, audio uh, file and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the text synchronize on the music like I said so we're gonna go to the uh, media generators tab we're gonna scroll all the way until we see titles and text I'm gonna pick legacy text I'm gonna drag that on top of the audio track I'm just going to type in uh, how to synchronize text on music as you can see so it doesn't really fit on the screen so we're gonna make this a little bit smaller and I would say I'm going to make this 50 I think that one looks pretty cool we're gonna also pick a nice different font I'm gonna pick lobster because the lobster is a font that I just came across and I love it so much so I'm gonna pick lobster as you can see it's like it's kind of a, a written um, font now what we're gonna do is it's really simple you you will see all the the beat uh, sound waves uh, of the music so we're gonna just make that start on the first one and we're gonna lay down a marker every time the beat happens so I'm gonna press M on my keyboard right here right here when the second beat goes I'm gonna press M the third beat M fourth beat M and then also the fifth beat an M and then the next one an M as you can see it's gonna be really straightforward and then also an M right here and then also at the end one that's what we're gonna do first of all so now that we have all the markers what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them all into pieces so just click right on the marker press S press S press S anytime uh, the marker is there so press S it's gonna be really straightforward and you just want to go ahead and cut a little bit so now that we have cut it all the way into where the markers are what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start with uh, the uh, event pen crop and we're gonna go to a mask at the bottom this one now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on the rectangle tool and we're gonna just start selecting the first word which is going to be how now as you can see we just want to make sure we make zoom that we only only have that word then what we're gonna do is close it out then we're gonna just click on the first one press ctrl C click on the next one press ctrl V so as you can see right now that's gonna make it uh, as you can see um, very easy to just you know uh, synchronize the second word so click on the event pen crop of the second file and we're gonna just move up this guy as you can see until uh, how to is fully in the screen so we're gonna do it like so 
uh, like this, make sure that it's nice and detailed. Then what we're gonna do is just press Control C, press Control V again until uh, all the um, text files are copy and pasted. Now we're gonna go to the third one, we're gonna click on Event and Crop and we're gonna just put Synchronize fully in the screen. So this is what we have already. So that's look, that looks really tight. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make sure that this one is uh, nice and cut. So now we're going to move on with the next one. So we're going to just copy, paste this, boom, like so, all the way to the end, because that's very obvious. Then go back to the uh, event pen crop, and then we're going to create a new one. So I'm just going to just click on here randomly, and then just select the word text. As you can see right here, really simple. So as you can see, that one is a really handy video. And if you want to see that video, make sure to check out the description. And that's basically how to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see where I'm saying it is October 2nd. Make sure to smash the like button down below and get started. It's October the 2nd. So as you can see, I'm just, you know, pausing right here a little bit. Then I'm going to just cut that part away. And I'm going to just add in a new text file. So I'm going to go to Media Generators. Uh, go all the way to Titles and Text. Drag that on top of your timeline. And I'm going to just fill in the date, which is going to be the 10th month, the second day, and the year 2017. So that one looks really cool. I'm going to pick a different font because I want it to look a little bit more fancy. I think this one looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do then is we're going to make it also a little bit smaller. And like I showed you guys, the little clip of the video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to just do that real quick, uh, how to do that effect. So I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. So I'm going to also drag in a uh, copyright free beat. Uh, that's j just, a, you know, a hip hop sample. I'm going to cut it right here. And then I'm going to just go ahead and make the date appear on the beat. So I'm going to go ahead and and just press uh, on this one boom so I'm gonna make it appear on the first boom so we're gonna go ahead and click on this icon event pen crop we're gonna go to mask at the bottom we're gonna pick the rectangle tool and we're gonna start by just masking uh, the 10 so this is what it looks like and then as you can see I'm gonna make this one also appear so go ahead and go to the event pan crop, click on mask again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select also the, the two and the slash, as you can see. So this is what it looks like so far. Second. And then I'm going to make the 17 appear on the last beat. So as you notice, it will, the 17 will appear on the, on the snare hit. So that one looks really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. And that's basically how we also always uh, times the, the, you know, the dates with the music. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, clip. I'm gonna make it continue. October the 2nd. So that one looks really nice. So you guys also have wondered like, how did you make the comments with the explosions? Well, it's really simple guys. Just take a screenshot of the comments. Then you just want to drag that guy in. As you can see right here, right here when I say boom, 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 obviously when I'm just making the comments appear. You can see boom, you can see boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just resize this guy a little bit. And I'm gonna make this guy be in the center. So do it like this and just place this guy down at the bottom when it's centered. So make sure that it's also completely centered like this. I'm gonna drag in also the, the, the you know, the other two comments. And we're gonna make those comments uh, be a little bit tilted, to, you know, towards the side. And I'm gonna also make them smaller like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right here in this corner. And then this comment, I'm gonna also make that tilt to the other side like so. And I'm gonna also put it down in the corner so that's basically what i did it not something that jake you know that logan paul would do but just something i would do to spice up the video so now i'm just gonna time it when i'm saying boom 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 obviously as you can see boom boom as you can see boom boom as you can see as you can see boom boom as you can see boom 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 as you can see boom 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 as you can see boom 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 so that one looks really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right here. And I'm gonna cut all the, uh, the, the excess part of the comments away. And I'm gonna start cutting to the next phrase. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this and then just delete that. And this is what it looks like. 
as you guys can see, boom, boom, boom. Few people have. So that's how I did it, guys. So it has also an outro, and I'm gonna keep that for a part two. So if you guys want to see a part two, make sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll be looking into it. So that's basically how to edit videos like Paul. The only thing he does is just switch you know, from uh, scene to scene. He's not doing any crazy transitions, for example, like Rise Gum is doing. So that's basically how he does it. That's how he also adds the date uh, on the music, on the beat. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial, as always, on Tuesday. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. Make sure to let me know in what in the comments what kind of person uh, you want me to, sh you know, to show how he edits. And I'll be reading all the comments for sure. So that's it, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Just Alex Halford.